Dear sir, when I am not engaged in a conversation and I do not have much time to have the opportunity to learn from spiritual practitioners, I just worry about other things. So my question is, what does it mean to come home to yourself? When I'm not in a conversation and I don't have much time to have the opportunity to learn from spiritual practitioners, I just worry about other things. So my question is, what does it mean to come home to yourself? To go home to yourself, first of all, means you bring your mind back to your body and you feel that you are truly there. You are not being pulled by either the past or the future, your projects, your thinking, because the thinking may cause us to lose ourselves. So the practice of mindful breathing can unify body and mind and we can find ourselves established in the here and now. And the practice of mindful breathing can stabilize the situation. It helps us to calm down and to be truly there and to be aware of what is going on. We are not lost by what is happening. We are still ourselves. And it's like a house with several windows and doors. God. And if we open all the windows and doors in a time, there is a strong wind and the wind will come in and blow everything away. So going home is like shutting the window, shutting the door so that the wind will not penetrate. The eyes, the ears, nose, tongue, body, and mind, they are windows and shut these windows. And shut these windows. We don't look anymore. We don't listen anymore. We don't think anymore. We just follow our in-breath, out-breath. And we are comfortable in the house. And you may like to make a fire in the chimney to warm it up. And we feel comfortable with it. And that is what we should do every time you feel lost we feel that we are no longer ourselves. We have been blown away by events. And that, that's what the Buddha calls going home to the island within, closing the six windows. And stay inside with your breathing and you will be calm. You will see more clearly. And when you feel safe, clear, you may like to open one window to see what is going on. Uh, this should be a practice taken by everyone when they don't feel like they're themselves, they're losing themselves in the situation, environment, and closing the six senses, doors is a practice. And when you focus your attention on your in-breath and out-breath, and just pay attention to just that, then the six doors will be closed by themselves. And we are warm inside, and the Buddha, the Dharma, and uh, the Sangha are with us inside. The Dharma is the mindfulness generated by mindful breathing. It can show you and will bring you the light. And the Dharma is your breathing in mindfulness. This is the real Dharma, true Dharma. And you are protected by the Buddha, which is mindfulness. We are protected by the Dharma, which is your mindful breathing. And then the Buddha and the Dharma, when the Buddha and the Dharma are there, your five skandhas, which is the body, feelings, perceptions, and mental formations. It is like a Sangha, and you operate in harmony. This Sangha is inside, so if you are, you take refuge in the Three Jewels, the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. You are safe, you are in peace, and to pronounce the sentence, I take refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. It's not the same. You might pronounce that, but you don't do it. Now, you don't have to pronounce the sentence. You just follow your in-breath and breathe in and out mindfully. And then the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha just manifest in you as a refuge. And you are safe. And Thay practice that in difficult moments, disturbing situations. Thay always practice that mindful breathing and go home to himself and get the protection of the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. Anywhere you can do that, when there's fear, anger, confusion, and despair. We should take refuge in the three jewels just by the practice of mindful breathing. And you see that effect if you practice with all your heart.